after nearly seven months and a total of over 14 hours of footage, this is where it all will end. Hey everybody, it's Toffee 007 and welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Fossil Fighters. In the last episode, Dinel stole all five sub-idle comps and we were instructed from the Richmonds to go get them on the Dinorian ship because everybody else is kind of frozen in a big charge beam thing. So let's go. Let's get on the teleporter and head to the Dinorian ship with our full and final team already. Now let me just show you quickly. A sense of danger looms heavy in the air. Are you ready for battle? Absolutely. Now, wrong button. Still don't know the controls of this game. It's Y, right? Yes, okay. Final team. And thank you to 904 Funny. He was over on Friday, and he helped me get all the bones. So I have, at the end, a rank 10 Elasmo with 449 health. A rank 10 Lexo with 284 health. A rank 10 S Raptor with 379 health. Oh, the garage sale Vivasaur. We've a rank 11 Megalo with 407 health. And last and certainly not least, a rank 11 Spinax, four, three points away from being a rank 12 with 471 health. His attack power sits at a comfortable 64, and we're all good. Now, my advice to going to well, and now we are going to go challenge the seemingly final boss of the game. But first we have to get through a large... Ooh, what are those? Can I hit them? I can hit the boxes? Come on, give me gold, give me gold. Darn it! Ah, oh, poopy. I don't even understand why you have your sonar here. You can't dig up fossils here. Now, be very careful. There are Dinorian grunts all over this freaking place. So just run through the ship and oh yes, I got 160 gold. Now as that epic music plays in the background, you gotta be really careful running through the ship. Damn it. Strict order from Kingdom to stop you at any cost. Get him, dynamatons! Screw you! Oh, one dynamaton! I can do this. Alright, I'll be fighting this guy off camera. I never realized how cool this music was. Okay. Ooh, cube. Aww, can't break that cube. Very careful. Take very slow steps. Oh, cubes! Oh, man, I hope that's the last voice crack of this Let's Play. Yes! Alright, let me do this. This is usually where I'd cut to bad stealth missions in video games! Yes! Okay. Yes, got it. Okay, only one random encounter. That's a record. Enter the Yellow Comp Room. Yes. Okay, I'm showing you guys my team. Here we go. King Dinel. In my wildest imaginings, I never thought you'd make it here, human. He's not even turning around and he knows we're here. I admit that I am impressed. The sub idle comp has already completed the auto repair cycle and has been installed into the system. The main idle comp is ready and waiting. All I have to do is flip the switch. And regression waves will ruin doubt in your planet. Removing humans from your world evolutionary story. And he faces us. But in order to protect your people, you will have to defeat me, mightiest of all Dinorians. Here I stand, fighting for the rival of my long-lost world. <coughs> you against me, striving for the survival of your species. So many awkward camera pans. I would say we both have sufficient reason to fight to the very end. Everything has built to this moment. And the two of us shall determine who will take ownership of this world. And here he comes! Alright, let's just say, if you're not prepared for this guy, and you're going to go face Dental, first of all, don't. Set, get all four bones, or this guy will kick your ass. Okay, what he's got, he's got two dynamatons and the deadly dinel. If this guy is in the S, S, uh, SZ, your enemy, a the 
your AZ will be down 77% in every single stat. This guy has 55 attack power, 500 FP. This guy will kick your ass mercilessly. What you have to do is just take advantage. You need to use your three strongest Vivasaurs. Sure, there because type doesn't matter here. Just bring out three Vivasaurs you think can bring a punch. Hmm. And so, by doing this, I'm probably going to screw myself over. I'm going to be using the Garage Sale Vivasaur for the final battle. As you, that you think this final battle. That was supposed to be dramatic, darn it. And maybe a last mo. Yeah, also be using a last mo. Lexo and Megalo are gonna have to take a seat. Wait. What is my. Does Megalo? No. <gasps> yes, you know it's power of scale. Actually, no. I'm gonna be benching a last mo for this fight and putting in Megalo. Uh, you'll see why later. You'll see why I needed to put in um, those extra efforts. And now, here we go. Let's see, he gets first attack because I have 1,200 FP because I'm awesome. And he's going to lead with a Regal combo. Now you'll see how difficult this guy really is. It's going to hit me decently hard, and I'm excited, which is a little bit of a problem. Now, pardon, pardon if I hum, I absolutely love this music. I have such an unrealistic love for this music. 30, 60, 90 damage. The dental theme is, in my opinion, one of the best themes in the entire game. Alright. There's a reason I have Megalo and S-Rap. You'll be seeing that later in the battle. He's going to use another Rego combo on Spinax. It's just Dinal and Spinax squaring off. God, this music is ridiculously epic. Now, I believe Regal combo is a 100% chance of exciting, so you're going to be excited. In more ways than you think this is the final battle of the game. And now we're going to Spinax combo. 30. 59. We're going to keep dealing out some big damage. We both have 60 FP. And we're both going on to our next moves. He's going to Rego combo again. It's pretty much stalemate. Now look, this just brings back memories. When I was a kid, I tried to fight Dino five times before I beat him. And his Dynamaton's finally going to do something with Steel Slash. It's going to do 15 damage. Oh my god. I'm back here again. I haven't, did, I haven't done this fight since 2009. And I'm going to... Oh my god. I love that part of the song. Oh my god. Fossil players might not have the greatest graphics in the world, but damn, it has good music. Alright, 100 damage. Pretty good. It's pretty much just Spinax and Dinal taking chunks out of each other at this point. Regal combo. Sorry if I'm not as energized as usual. I'm just like in this hypnotic state where I know for a fact if I lose this battle, it's going to be a worse freakout than the great freakout. And there he's going to swap attack zones. I knew he'd do that eventually. And because Spinax is excited, I can't swap attack zones. So I'm going to Spinax combo. What a better thing to do than Spinax combo. That's what Excite does. 51-101. That was a nice hit. Critical hit. And, wait. No, I don't need... No! No! What did I do? Oh, shit. I thought I was hitting B. Oh, my God. I had a button fail. Button fa Oh, my God. I... This episode had a subtitle other than The Fossil Fighters Finale Part 1. I would call it The Button Fail. Part 2. All right, now, they, the Dynamatons have a team skill called Death Ray. It hits all three of your Vivasaurs at the same time. Usually pretty hard. No Spinax combo. I think I could do 98 damage with a Spinax combo. I'd be shocked if I don't. 33. Yeah, I killed him. All right, there goes one Dynamaton. And wait, how much FP do I have? Crap, how much FP do I have left? No! Oof. I have Megalo because he has one attack that's really good at not getting your ass kicked. Oh, and my stats are down quite a lot. This is what I was trying to prevent. Megalo has an attack called Power Scale, where it equalizes FP between you and both sides. And now Spinax is probably dead because he has a powered up Spinax Heartless Fury. And damn, over two, almost 200 damage. 154 damage, that's nothing to sneeze at. Now, first thing I'm going to do, 
S-Raptor is going to use a Quicken to raise Spinax's evasion. Now my evasion is now on. And then Megalo? No, I'm sorry. You don't have anything I need right now. I was thinking about using Harden, actually. Nah, I'll just go for a Spinax combo. Darn it. If I had 20 more FP, I could have pulled off a great move and not have had Spinax and... Oh, I forgot the attack was down 77. Okay. Well, my evasion's up, so I can hopefully avoid the Steel Slash. Damn it! Crap! Oh, no! That could have just lost me the... Oh, damn it. Royal Bite! Alright. Now, you should be very happy. For one turn... You don't have those support effects laying you down. So, I'm going to use my Garage Sale Vivasaur. Use an S-Fury on that Dynamaton in hopes I can kill it. If I can kill this with the Garage Sale Vivasaur, this fight's a breeze. 16, 31, I'm not going to kill it. Ah. 94. Ouch. Not great. Ah, darn, I can't no-breath Dino. Din Dino Dino Okay. Oh, and S Raptor doesn't have very good numbers right now, and he's gonna use another Rex Roar. Come on. Ah, uh, this is not going my way. It's gonna steel slash me with my defense down. It's gonna do 96 effing damage. Alright. What I'm gonna do is move S Raptor into the easy, get Megalo out here. Try my best for a Megalo combo. N yeah, it's better than a no breath in this situation. I could easily do a no breath. Now, the reason I'm putting S Raptor in the EZ is so that just in case Megalo dies a terrible death, I still have a chance. I if I could beat this first try, that'd be amazing. You know, he's gonna swap the tax zones, and Dinel's gonna use a Regal combo. Now it's Megalo and Dinel. Jeez. Dinel's fighting Megalo. This is weird. And now Megalo is excited. Which means he can't switch the easy, which was kind of pointless. Now, I actually think I might want to use a Null Breath this turn. I'm going to go for the Null Breath. And Dinel is scared, which is great. He can only use one attack this turn. And damn it, it's Regal Combo. Ah. There are some turns where he can't attack, period. And those are the greatest things in the world. Now I'm going to get hit decently hard at 60 damage. And now here comes S-Raptor. Now, first thing I'm going to do is S-Raptor is going to use Quicken on Megalo. S-Raptor and Megalo are teaming up. Alright, so Megalo, his evasion is now up. And I'm going to use another Megalo combo, combo, combo on Dinel. Who is scared, which is great. Alright, 74. And he's excited. That's even better. He's scared and excited. Now he can't switch into the SZ. I really recommend that you do the strategy I'm using. Now he's going to Regal combo. And he's still going to hit despite my evasion being up. Shoot. Okay. I'm unfortunately excited. And then he's going to Steel Slash. And he's going to miss. Yes. I love you, S Raptor. And I'm still quickened. I'm going to Megalo combo that Dinel, because that Dynamaton has 47 health left. Go, go, go. 27, 43, come on. How much health do you have? Seven. Yes, he's excited. Dinel has 61 health. He's trapped in the AZ, and the Dynamaton can't really do anything, except for attack at half. He's going to do a Regal combo, probably attempting to excite me some more. So that S Raptor doesn't come in. He understands the garage sale webasaur. Now, I'm excited again. And here we go. Can this happen? Will this actually happen? Megalo combo. And damn, that's a great trumpet part. Megalo combo. Hit, hit. And there goes Dinel. Okay. You ready? This could be the defining move of the game. S Fury. From the SZ, I have to do 47 damage. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 8, 16, 24. Yes! 
48 damage. One extra. Oh my god, I just beat Dino first try. 20 points. Yes. I just beat Dino. That was a long battle. Spinax is a rank 12. 480 FP. S Raptor turns rank 11. Now it's 403 FP. Elasmo goes rank 11 too. Because these 20 points from King Dental. Megalo goes up 23. And Lexo goes up 18. Oh my god. And Dental's just standing there like, what the heck? I lose. Your name is Taco Dude, correct? Yes, it is. Taco Dude 007. I have a YouTube channel. I recommend you go check it out. You guys too. I confess, I have learned I have learned from you. Though you I have though you I have seen a part of humankind through you. That makes a lot more sense than though you. Through you, I have seen a part of humankind that was not comma. Through you, comma. I have not seen a part of I've uh, I have seen a part of humankind I was not prepared of. Let's just say the damn script. Your people are strong, tenacious. I have never seen such a species with such determination. No matter the odds, you will stand against any opponent. Brave. Our people did not evolve as differently as I first thought. You may even one day surpass us. Taco Dude, are you okay? Duna, I owe you an apology. You saw the human special long before I could, and I thank you for that. Thank you, Your Majesty. We still must find a home world, however. We shall once once again venture into space and resume our long search for another planet to make our own. I jumped. We need not return to space? What do you mean by that? Are you suggesting that we Dinorians could live here on Earth with your people? Uniting the races has always been the message of fossil fighters. Thank you, Arctic and Red Entertainment, and most of all, Nintendo, for letting us learn that it's not the differences by race that matter. Many people can populate one happy world and get along in perfect harmony and not have to go to war where you use prehistoric dinosaurs as your actual slaves and put them in little tiny metals that look like poker chips. Thank you, Nintendo, for entertaining. You've taught me a beautiful lesson today, but we should probably get back on with the video. The Dinorians and humans could walk side by side here on this planet? Yes! What? I'm shocked too, to be honest. I thought that these beings... I ne I'm shocked that there are beings capable of such generosity. On behalf of my people, I accept your gracious offer of hospitality. Our two species have much to teach each other, and I look forward to beginning that instruction. Have you lost your mind? Oh, rap in you dick. Am I the only one left thinking rationally? This is madness! Humans are the only primitive beasts unworthy of the planet we accidentally gave them! That was a terrible voice crack. They're a mistake with delusions of grandeur, and I will be the one to correct that mistake! Raptin, stop! I command you to stop, Raptin. At last, all humans on the Earth below are about to become so much protoplasm! Circumstances are n circumstances are now such we cannot maintain our silence any longer. Oh my God! They're talking. Who said that? We are the devices that you refer to as sub idle comps. The AI brand sub idle comps. Perfect. Listen. Make the main idle comp fire the regression rays. Your request is unreasonable. We cannot comply. What? That's the purpose of the main oil cup! Do you use regression rays to correct flawed evolution? You are correct. The oil system was built using regression rays to correct flawed evolution. But only for evolutionary branches originating from the seeds planted by the Dinorians. For this reason, the main oil will not be activated and the regression rays won't be used. But that's absurd! You must be missing data! No, you are missing data. The humans are not what you think. Humans did not evolve from the seeds planted from the Dinorians. What? The Dinorians planted the seed life forms in the ocean during the Cambrian period. Unfortunately, they all they all perished a few thousand years later. 
<laughs> it's all been a big misunderstanding. I'm gonna go kill myself. No, not really. All further evolution sprung from the single-celled life that already existed on the planet. So that means our revival project didn't spawn any of Earth's current life forms! Correct. Every living creature on this planet was born and evolved quite naturally. And of course, that includes humans as well. So Project Mother Plant failed from the very beginning. Ha <laughs> ha! Dinner, you loser! And in our arrogance, we were going to wipe out the humans out of existence and start over. We too were surprised at first. Our program was not designed to cover such an eventuality. We considered the problem and reconsidered and reconsidered before arriving at our answer. We decided to do nothing. We simply observe and protect these new forms of life. But the main idol comp reached a different conclusion. The main idol comp decided to destroy all life on the planet. But how? The main idol comp isn't equipped to destroy anything. Only regress its evolution. Correct. Since the main idol comp was able to carry out this goal, it began to broadcast signals. It sent these things into one force that was ca it knew was capable of annihilating the entire planet. No! You can't mean... Goonash. There's another boss. As you well know, if Goonash were to come to this world, every living thing would be consumed along with the planet itself. And you just casually tell me this? It was at this point that our sub-biocomps disconnected ourselves and escaped from the Tusk Starship. Without us to regulate it, the main island complex forced to shut down and it stopped sending signals. But now, with its power restored, the main island complex successfully broadcast the last required signal. Gunash now has the coordinates to reach Earth and consume it. This will be the end of all life on the world. So I've just summoned the monster. The catastrophe that ate our entire planet. Awkward! I didn't mean it. I never intended for this to happen. I just wanted to help my people. Look what we've done in our vain arrogance. We brought the same terrible fate on this planet that befell ours. We have failed, utterly. And then the scene shifts. Back to the fossil center. I see. This is quite the situation we're faced with. Yes, and I'm sorry to say, that is the situation for which there is only one remedy, escape from Earth. We will carry as many humans as we can about our sparse, aboard our starship. That is the least we can do. I will remain behind. It means one more human can be carried to safety. I will do the same. A noble thought. But that won't work. Can't find enough humans on your ship to make much difference. But you are right. Idea! In this case, how about this? We use Dinorian technology to build an even bigger ship. Call it Project Noah and load every last person onto it. Oh, because no game is complete without a biblical reference. I'm sorry, but no amount of technology is going to make a ship big enough to carry every human. Besides, there's not enough time. Gunash will be here before you know it. Okay, then. Use that ray gun thingy that turned everyone into a mouse to turn everybody into mice. Then we can fit everyone in your ship. We'll call it Project Squeakums. Um, yes, but it'll be very difficult to fit everyone on the ship. Fine, then we'll just have to attack Gunash head on and destroy him. We appreciate your enthusiasm, but that is the most impossible idea yet. For thousands of years, my people researched ways to defeat the monster Gunash. We conclude there is no weapon capable of slaying him. Gunash will eat this planet. There is nothing that can be done about it. Oof. Heavy. With all due respect, Your Majesty, there is a way to defeat Gunash. But we'll be figuring that out in the second part of the Fossil Fighters finale. I will see you guys then.